Lesson 14, 14th lesson. The simple present tense. Note the sentences. A. He is reading a book. B. He reads many books. A. He is still working. B. He works here every evening. A. A fire is burning in the fireplace. B. A fire burns all day in cold weather. A. Sully is sitting on the arm of his chair. B. She often sits there. In sentences, A. The action is taking place now. It is not finished. Mr. Priestley is reading now. The fire is still burning. The work is not finished. The verbs in these sentences are in the continuous tense. In sentences B, the action is a usual or repeated one. Mr. Priestley reads today, and again tomorrow, and the next day and the next day, i.e. on many days. He works every evening. The fire burns on every cold day, i.e. many times. The cat often sits on his chair. The students come every day, except Saturday and Sunday. The action is repeated five times a week. The verbs in these sentences are in the simple present tense. We use the continuous present tense for an action that is taking place now. We use the simple present tense for an action that is usual or repeated. I am riding. Present continuous. I ride every day. Simple present. We generally use the simple present tense with words or phrases like every day, always, often, sometimes, never, e.g. The students come here every day. He always teaches in this room. She often sits there. He sometimes works until 2 o'clock. He never goes to bed before 12 o'clock. Exercises. Put in the correct tense present continuous or simple present. 1. Mr. Priestley always to wear a dark suit. 2. Today he to wear a dark brown one. 3. In the picture Mr. Priestley to sit in an armchair. 4. He generally to sit in that chair in the evening. 5. I never to go to bed before 11 o'clock at night. 6. It is 12 o'clock so I to go to bed now. 7. The sun to shine just now and the sky is blue. 8. The sun often to shine all day in summer. 9. The earth to move round the sun. 10. The children in the picture to play on the sands. The simple present tense interrogative. To form the simple present tense interrogative of all verbs, except to be, to have can, and one or two others, we use the verb do with the infinitive of the other verb, e.g. affirmative, I teach. Interrogative, do I teach. Affirmative, you come. Interrogative, do you come. Affirmative, he teaches. Interrogative, does he teach. Affirmative, they work. Interrogative, do they work. Affirmative, it moves. Interrogative, does it move? Do I, do you, do we, do they, does he, does she, does it? Here are other examples of questions and answers. Question, does he teach English? Answer, yes, he does. Question, does Mr. Priestley teach his students? Answer, yes, he does. Question, does he read many books? Answer, yes, he does. Question, does he go to bed late? Answer, yes, he does. Question, do the students come here for lessons? Answer, yes, they do. Question, do they work well? Answer, yes, they do. Question, does Sally sit on Mr. Priestley's desk? Answer, yes, she does. Question, do I speak English well? Answer, yes, you do. Question, do you understand this lesson now? Answer, yes, I do. But notice, affirmative, he is a teacher. Interrogative, is he a teacher? Not does he be, affirmative, he can speak French. Interrogative, can he speak French? Not does he can, word study. Related words, 
begin, beginning, beginner, begin at the beginning of the book. He can't speak English well. He is only a beginner. Interest, interesting, uninteresting. He takes an interest in his work. That is an interesting book. That story is very uninteresting. New, newly, news, newspaper. This is a new book, it is newly out. I read the newspaper every morning to get the news. Exercises, oral practice. Exercise I make each of these interrogative, there are 49 sentences, 1. Mr. Priestley 2, Mary 3, you 4, they 5, Paddy 6, I 7, the little boys 1, teach, s English, 2, knows French 3, speaks Spanish, 4, writes Polish, 5, we walks late, 6, go, s to the class, 7, do, s much work, e.g. does Mr. Priestley teach English? Does Mr. Priestley know French? Does Mary go to the class? Do the little boys speak Spanish? Etc. Etc. Exercise 2. Put in the missing words, I come for my lesson every day. He. 4. Lesson every day. She. 4. Lesson every day. We. 4. Lesson every day. You. 4. Lesson every day. They. 4. Lesson every day. Oral or written exercises. Exercise 3. Answer the questions. 1. Does Mr. Priestley know French? 2. Do the students come to this room? 3. Does the boy play football? 4. Does the girl play tennis? 5. Do the men smoke cigarettes? 6. Does the dog sleep under the table? 7. Do you speak a little English? 8. Can you speak a little English? 9. Does Mr. Priestley sit in his study? 1. No. Oh. Is Mr. Priestley sitting in his study? Exercise IV. Make the following interrogative. 1. He teaches English to his students. 2. He knows French and German. 3. Mr. Priestley speaks these languages well. 4. Mr. Priestley can write these languages well. This is different. 5. He works at his desk. 6. He is sitting by the fire. This is different. 7. The students come to this room. 8. The students sit in this room. 9. The boys and girls stay with their father at the seaside. 10. This boy plays football. 11. English people stay at this hotel. 12. The boy swims to the big rock every day. 13. The woman eats ices. 14. The men drink tea and coffee. 15. They often swim in the afternoon. 16. You can see the train. Be careful. 17. The waiter smokes cigarettes. 18. The waiter smokes cigarettes. 19. The dog sleeps under the table. 20. The boys bathe in the sea. 21. Mr. Priestley is well dressed. 22. He generally wears a brown suit. 23. The earth moves round the sun. 24. The stars are a long way from the earth. 25. The telephone is on the desk. 26. The telephone stands on the desk. 27. The windows are open. 28. The windows stand open. 29. He can open the windows. 30. He opens the windows. Thank you very much for the likes, and subscribe to our channel.